to write an API helper for WebDriver IO. So WebDriver IO is a UI automation framework and you can see basic example of the test right here. Although it's gonna fail, it's a legit test. And how you might ask me how to create it and you can see a link for the video above that's you can click right there and go through the video to install exactly the same framework as i have set up right here uh, but now we're going to send an api request from our sync version of the webdriver io and if you're using webdriver io you should already know that there are two versions of it either sync or async and we're using a sync one so it might look quite difficult how you create an async uh, API request, but we're going to make it happen right now. So let's install Axios first, since, since it's going to be our API client. So npm i Axios will install it. Now you should uh, see it in your list of dependencies right here. Uh, so, okay, let's uh, paste an example of our API request. Uh, let's, I'll just gonna paste the one that I had uh, and we're gonna call it, now let's see. So this is going to be random, random uh, dot get quote. Uh, how do I spell it? Wait, right. Uh, okay, so we have to create that first. So let's go and create, um, I'm gonna do it in the same folder. So create file, let's call it random-api.js. Uh, just for information, this login test is for Instagram website, but we don't really care. Uh, I just wanna show an example on how to make an async call. And an API call is going to be getting some random joke. Uh, so we did create a file right here. Uh, so let's create a class. Uh, actually, let's see an example on a QLS on a website. So page object model. Okay, that's our page object. Perfect. Let's paste it in here and let's call it random API. And we're going to paste the same thing here as we're going to instantiate it. And we're going to delete all those objects and call this one async uh, get uh, get a quote oh, actually it's a get a joke it's not a get quote uh, get call it random joke so same thing is going to be set right here so let's go uh, okay we're not going to take any params as of now and we're going to use Axios to send this API request. So const Axios equals to require Axios. Okay, oops, we have to put that in quotes. Okay, awesome. So now we can send a, uh, let's see, const response equals to Axios dot get and then we pass url of the api request and let's make it go to uh let's see uh let's make it go to uh random api actually uh, check norris joke generator Technology joke API. Okay, uh, this one right here, I believe, is the one that I would like to use. Uh, yeah, this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can send it through the browser. Okay, yeah, we definitely can send it and we gain the value right there. So let's try to do the same thing here. So we're gonna send this. Uh, request and get this response and return it. Return response. Okay, let's go back to our login test. Let's add a comment. Send get random joke API request. 
and then we're going to save it into a variable and let's call it um, random joke. Okay, and then we're going to log random joke and that is going to be the end. Uh, let's see, since we do not care about setting value, we just delete the part of actually, yeah, we don't need any of that any of that code. So I just gonna comment it out and I gonna log in. Actually, I gonna navigate to that URL and then I gonna finish this test right there since we don't really care about UI part. Um, okay, let's do this. So we're going to send a joke, console log it and then navigate to URL and finish our test. Ignore that part since we don't care about it. All right, let's try to run it and see if it's gonna work or when, oh, actually it's not gonna work because we need to import it. Const, uh, let's uh, random equals to, and then we have to require it first. That API helper that we've created right here lives in the random API class. So let's require it. Let's say dot, dot slash. Actually, it could be dot slash random API, perfect. And now it's going to refer right here. Awesome, let's run it. Actually, let's run only this file. Copy relative path, dash dash spec. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. So navigated, boom, boom, boom. Awesome, we did send it and you can see response right here. So we just got to pull it out from data. So let's console log uh, response dot data. Uh, and then let's get a value since we only want to see the joke, dot joke. Let's see if it's going to happen and perfect. There is a joke right here. Uh, so if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see how to structure your API helpers in a much better way and even do some deep dive into abstraction of your API client, I gonna you're gonna see a link right there above. Uh, please click on it and give me a fat thumb up if you like this video. If not, still give me a fat thumb up so other people might like me. <laughs> Thanks, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.